Welcome to the 2024 Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators Award presentation. This contest was open to five grade levels from first to fifth grade, with the top three winners in each grade getting recognition today. The judges had a hard time, but they were able to narrow it down in each class. We are honored to share each of those stories and illustrations with you today. We are going to start with the third place winner in the first grade class. Daisy's Flower by Mila Jovi Lesage. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Daisy. She loved flowers and wanted one of her own, so she decided to plant one. Daisy dug a hole and put a seed in it. She waited and waited for the flower to grow, but nothing happened. Daisy started to cry. Her mama said that flowers take a while to grow. Daisy sprayed fertilizer on the seed. She hoped her flower would grow. She waited, and something did happen. A sprout grew. Daisy was feeling more hopeful about her flower. She continued to water it and pull the weeds. It still was not very big, but Daisy knew it would grow. Daisy went to bed that evening. When she woke up, she saw the most beautiful and most biggest flower. All the neighbors gazed in delight. Daisy's work finally paid off. The end. The Lost Animals, written and illustrated by Maverick Nicholson. Dog, owl, bear, and cat lived on a farm. One day, they took a walk in the fields. They walked from field to field. The sun started to set. They looked up to try to see if they were close to their home. They couldn't see it. That's when they knew they had gotten lost. Dog was smart. He knew what to do. He told his friends what to do. Dog gave each of them a walkie-talkie, so if one finds their home, they can let the others know. They split up to find home. They didn't find their home, so they came back together and built a campfire. They got food by harvesting the crops in the field. The next day, a farmer came to work in the fields. When he saw the animals, he knew they were lost because they were looking to find home. The animals told the farmer what their home looked like, and he helped them find their way back home. Dog, owl, bear, and cat were glad to be home from their unexpected adventure. The end. Happy Love Written and illustrated by Madeline Crisp. Dedicated to my friend Cassidy. Once upon a time, there was a butterfly named Lily and a lion named Leo. Lily and Leo were both playing in the park. Lily thought she was all by herself at the park. She didn't know that Leo was there. Leo sees Lily. He thinks she would be a great meal, so he immediately comes running after her. Leo started chasing Lily across the bridge, out of the park, and to her house. Lily got safely inside, but Leo tried busting down the door. Lily looked out the window and figures out who was chasing her. Leo looks up at the window that Lily is peeking out of. Leo noticed how beautiful Lily is, so then he doesn't want to eat Lily anymore. So they both went to the park the next day. They were happy to see each other. It turns out Lily actually liked Leo. After they go to the park, Lily has a surprise for Leo. She gives Leo one rose and says, be careful holding the rose by the stem. So then Leo takes it and they become best friends. Then they lived happily ever after. The end. Congratulations to all the first grade winners. Coming up next, we will announce the top three in the second grade. Messer is a technology and gases applications leader with the knowledge to provide solutions that meet customer needs across multiple industries. We value safety, people excellence, and dependable performance to benefit the industries essential to daily life. Messer, gases for life. Learn more at www.messer-us.com. Welcome back to Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators Contest Award presentation. Now, here are your second grade winners.
Wonderful Places, written and illustrated by Everly Reimer. Once there lived a happy family of butterflies. The mom and dad's names were Abigail and Ben. Their kids' names were Johnny and Sarah. It was getting close to winter, so they started flying south to Mexico. They finally got to their destination, and Abigail said she wanted to stay there forever with the pretty flowers. However, Ben said they couldn't stay too long because they wouldn't be able to explore the new places and travel north in the spring. Once spring arrived, the family went to explore new places. The first place they traveled to was kind of scary because people were trying to catch them. Johnny got caught without the parents noticing, and the rest of the family was already flying away. Sarah realized Johnny was gone and told her parents right away. The family tried to find him. They were so happy once they found and rescued Johnny. The next place they went to in the spring was California. It was the best place they had been to yet because it was warm and had beautiful flowers. The nectar was so sweet. The family was glad to all be together and they lived happily ever after. The end. An Adventure with Friends by Owen Mine. I dedicate my book to my mom, my dad, and my sister. One day, my friends, Corden, Trace, and I went into the forest looking for Bigfoot. Sightings of Bigfoot were seen in this area. We were in the forest and saw trees knocked over. We were scared when we looked closer at the trees and saw claw marks. We saw a lake, and to our surprise, there was a plesiosaurus creature swimming. Trace screamed, the creature saw us. I knew exactly what it was, the Loch Ness Monster, making a strange noise. We had to be calm, it would harm us. We saw this thing walking into a leafy cave. We were curious and wanted a closer look. Nervously and excited, we go in the damp and dark cave. A loud growl scared us. Trace took a picture and ran quickly out of the cave. Bigfoot was chasing us. We told our getaway driver, run for your life. We opened our backpacks, threw the saddles that we had onto the Loch Ness Monster and swam away. The Missing Horse Named Winner by Carly Gasper. There was once a girl named Leem Swish, who owned a talking horse named Winner. Leem was asleep when something bad happened. Winner was in his pen, but Leem forgot to lock Winner's gate. An hour later, a thief came. He had a trailer and a halter, and he put Winner in his trailer. Then Winner said, What's happening? In the morning, Leem saw that Winner was missing. Leem cried and cried all day. Then Leem said, Where are you, Winner? Then she called her whole family and friends. And they said, Sorry, we have not seen Winner. Then after the calls, Leem went inside and she printed off a paper. It said, Missing horse named Winner. Call 756-132-477 if you see him. She took the papers that she printed off to her town and put the papers up everywhere. Meanwhile, the thief was going to town also, and still had Winner in his trailer. Leem stopped by the park to try and relax. One minute later, the thief arrived. Winner started talking from the trailer. Help me! Leem remembered that she had an ear tag on Winner. Then she tracked Winner's location. She noticed that Winner was in the trailer by her. Hey, here is a card. Go use it now on coffee. So when the thief was gone, Leem went to the trailer and the pickup was unlocked. So she hopped in and went home. So Leem went home and unloaded Winner in his pen and locked the gate. She learned a lesson here to not forget to lock Winner's gate. Then Winner said, I'm finally home. The end. That was some great stories from the second grade. Coming up next, we will announce the third grade winners. 
Messer is a technology and gases applications leader with the knowledge to provide solutions that meet customer needs across multiple industries. We value safety, people excellence, and dependable performance to benefit the industries essential to daily life. Messer, gases for life. Learn more at www.messer-us.com. Welcome back to Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators Contest Award Presentation. The third grade has been busy. Let's see who their winners are. Detective Peaches by Zoe Funk. There once was a detective named Peaches. Detective Peaches was different from most detectives. Detective Peaches was a pig. Even though she was a pig, Detective Peaches was the best detective in the country. Peaches had a sidekick, a kind but impatient goat named Brownie. With her sidekick Brownie by her side, she was unstoppable. One day, the cows got out of the pen. Farmer Bob was upset when he could not find his cows. They were nowhere to be seen. The farmer ran to find Peaches and Brownie. When he found them, they were in the middle of a secret tea party on top of a hay bale. Farmer Bob told them about his missing cows. Peaches jumped up and shouted, To the detective mobile! The first place they searched for the cows was in the fairy tale forest. They saw unicorns, fairies, and a fat dragon eating pancakes, but there were no signs of Farmer Bob's cows. The next place they looked for the cows was an underworld sea filled with mermaids and magical sharks. Brownie did not want to go underground, so she continued on without Detective Peaches. Now Detective Peaches had two cases to solve. She needed to find the missing cows and her sidekick. She was running out of daylight and getting very tired. There was only one place left to look. Detective Peaches knew she had to go to Florida. She used her rocket boosters to get there extra fast. When she got to the beach in Florida, she was surprised to see the cows and Brownie swimming in the ocean. Detective Peaches decided to join in on the fun before returning the cows to Farmer Bob. The end. Dad's Birthday Weekend at Wilson Lake by Noah Fancher. We went to the lake and unhitched the camper. Next, we unpack the firewood. I'm feeling pretty excited about it. We put the boat in the water. My sister and I see lots of tiny fish, but the boat wasn't wanting to start. Luckily, my uncle had some batteries in the back for his truck. We passed the no wave zone, and then we started to speed up. Now we go to the marina to fill the boat up with gas. Then we went to the beach to play in the sand for a little bit. Then we went fishing by the rocks and we all got a fish. Now we go to a deep, deep cove and jump off the back of the boat. We sadly have to go back to take a boat out of the water. Me and my cousins find logs and sticks for the fire pit. We make some moors by the fire pit. We go to bed. One of our cousins has a sleepover in our camper. In the morning, we cook sausages and eggs. We changed into our swimsuits, and then we went down to the beach and played in the water. My Aunt Alicia came. She brought her kayaks. She let us ride on them. Before we knew it, it was lunchtime. My parents cooked hot dogs and cheeseburgers. After that, we found clay by the beach. We played for a little bit. We start to pack the camper up. As we do that, it starts raining. We got in the camper for a little bit. My dad decided he was ready to go. He hooked up the camper. We keep the boat at the marina. We safely made it home from Wilson Lake. Space Explorer by Lincoln Once upon a time, a space explorer called Bruce explored every planet except Mars. Everyone said that the heat is too hot. Bruce headed out the next night. He set off to planet Mars. He gets into his rocket ship. He gets ready and shoots into the starry night. Night four, and he is still going on. 
and no sign of Mars. On night five, he met the hottest place for a rocket ship. It got so hot that his water bottle water evaporated. Finally, on night six, he made it to Mars. When he stepped out of the rocket ship, he saw a shining thing. He wanted to look closer, so he did. When he looked, all he saw was robot pieces. He built a robot named Rusty, but Bruce wasn't alone. Jaeger the Yeti was also there. He followed Bruce and Rusty. Bruce found a strange plant that had electricity. He thought it would be new technology. He took the plant, Rusty, and Jaeger back to Earth with him. Those are your third grade winners. Up next are your fourth grade winners. Messer is a technology and gases applications leader with the knowledge to provide solutions that meet customer needs across multiple industries. We value safety, people excellence, and dependable performance to benefit the industries essential to daily life. Messer, gases for life. Learn more at www.messer-us.com. It's now time for the fourth grade winners in the Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators Contest Award presentation. Hallie and Pablo by Hallie Bonner. My horse Pablo is 17 years old. He is a sorrel and he has a white bald face. He is really short and he is always in everybody's business. He is always wanting food and treats. He is really fat. On a normal day, I wake up and get dressed. I get my boots on and go outside to catch him. I open the gate and I don't normally have to walk very far because he is normally at the hay bale. Now it's time to catch him. I have to pick his feet and groom him. Sometimes his hooves stink. If he is good, I'll give him a treat. I'm hungry, so I go inside to eat breakfast. I'm having pancakes and bacon. Then I go back outside and he is not there. So now I have to look for him. I found him behind the tree eating grass. He does not want to leave the green grass. He broke his halter, so now I have to get a different halter. I have to put the halter on and I'm going to tie him up again. Now I'm going to put the saddle on. I am tightening his saddle. Then I am putting the breast collar on. I am putting his bridle on. I am getting on and about to ride him. I'm going to warm him up. I lope him in some circles. I'm going through the poles and barrels. I am done riding, so I'm going to unsaddle him. First, I have to take out his bridle. Then I'm going to undo his saddle and take it off. I'm going to give him another treat. Then I'm going to feed him and put him away. Then I'm going to take off his halter. Queen of Space, Clara M. Yust. Do you want to learn about the coolest person in the galaxy? Her name is Clara M. Y. She has a sidekick named Chucky. He is a chipmunk, no big deal. She lived in South America. She could shoot stars and she could control meteorites. She is under disguise no one knows where in South America. She lives in a small cabin. One day she was walking and the guardian of the wind called her. He told her that she needed to come right away because there was flooding in Hawaii. She was the only one that could do the job. The Ice Queen was helping us too. The Queen of Ice's name is Snowy, and the Snowy sister is Clara. The Queen of the Sun is also helping. Her name is Sunny. They arrived in Hawaii. They saw it coming. Chucky took out his miniature sword. The Guardians lined up. With all their might, they distored the flood. And then finally, Clara for celebration made a meteor shower, and then they were heading back home. The Story of Lexi by Madison Maherder. Lexi was a gorgeous baby girl. She had blue eyes, brown hair, light brown skin, and a beautiful smile. 
Unfortunately, her mom died shortly after she was born. Her mom's last words were, I love you. I wish I could watch you grow up. I love you so much, Lexi. Goodbye. Lexi is growing up to be a sweet girl. She is now four years old and being raised by her dad. He watches movies with her every Sunday. She loves her dad, but wishes she could see her mom. Four years later, she is getting ready to celebrate her eighth birthday. She is excited because her dad is going to make a cake with her. He always makes her birthday special. Lexi is now 17 years old. She has a boyfriend named Carlos that asks her to prom. Her dad buys her a sparkly dress. He takes her to get her nails and makeup done. Dad says, I can't believe how quickly you are growing up. Wish we were sharing this moment with your mom. Lexi just smiles. She feels the same way. It's five years later and Lexi is now 22. She and Carlos are getting married. Her dad makes sure that she gets her dream wedding and has a special day. Lexi is now 28 years old and has big news to share with her dad. She can't wait to tell him that he's going to be a grandpa, but Lexi also feels sad. She wishes she could share this moment with her mom. At 37 years old, her dad calls to say he's ill and has very time left. Your mother would be very proud of you. You are an amazing mom. He tells her. Lexi is now 97 years old and looking back on her life. She hopes that her dad would be proud of how far she's come. She thinks back to all the years she missed her mom and she hopes that she was the best mom she could possibly be for her own kids. Congratulations to all the fourth grade winners. Coming up next, we will announce the top winners in the fifth grade. Messer is a technology and gases applications leader with the knowledge to provide solutions that meet customer needs across multiple industries. We value safety, people excellence, and dependable performance to benefit the industries essential to daily life. Messer, gases for life. Learn more at www.messer-us.com. That brings us to the fifth grade winners in the Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators Contest Award presentation. The Mountain by Daisy Scott There once was a beautiful mountain and had many animals such as snow owls, mountain goats, rabbits, snakes, and mountain lions. The mountain was called the Tundra Mountain because of how cold it was. Many animals have camouflage with their fur and many other skills that make each and every animal amazing. Rabbits are white or sometimes brown with black, and could also be light gray or dark gray. There are many things that rabbits are good at, like jumping and good at camouflaging into the snow. Rabbits are a small type of animal and eat vegetables. They also can be very good pets for kids, and their ears and tail are cute to a lot of people. The mountain goats are beautiful with their horns and many other features. Mountain goats are good at climbing rocks and have very good skills. They have white fur most of the time, and their fur protects them from the cold from the mountain. They can also use their horns for battling. Now the third animal is the mountain lion. The mountain lion is part of the cat family. Mountain lions eat meat and are good hunters. They have a white fur to camouflage in the snow and catch their prey. They have claws and amazing looking teeth that help them eat their food. They have many cool abilities that they have. Next animal is the snake. There are many things a snake can do. They have lots of patterns and colors. Their small size helps them escape from danger and get their food. There's still lots of other cool and amazing things about snakes, such as that they don't have legs, and they do not have eyelids or ears. Lastly, the next animal is the snow owl. Snow owls are a type of bird and owl that hide in the trees. They also can camouflage into the snow of a tree. They have white feathers to blend into the snow and hide from predators. They can also fly a very long distance and are very beautiful and majestic. Little Owl Shiny Gem by Gannon Klein. Little Owl was at home bored. I want to go on an adventure, Little Owl whined. Who said you couldn't go on an adventure? 
said Mama Owl. After all, there was a huge world to explore. I've decided to adventure in the forest, said Little Owl enthusiastically. Little Owl grabbed a container ready for his adventure. The forest was huge compared to the Little Owl. It was overwhelming, but he would need to be brave and face his fears. Once he stepped into the forest, he knew this would be a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. The forest was calm and peaceful. His senses were overloading. The smells, the sights, the feeling, it was wonderful. But he couldn't adventure too far from home, or else he'd get lost. Nearing the edge of the forest, it was dark and gloomy, the trees surrounding him many feet taller than himself. But then something was glowing. It was pretty, something you would not see in your house or at a supermarket. It was a crystal gem. It was gleaming in the light, brighter than anything around himself. He placed his wonderful gem in his container, making sure it was safe from harm. He ran back to his house excitingly. Mom, look! Little Owl cried. It's a shiny rock, Mom said. How nice and glowy it is. They would both admire this gem for a bit, but it was getting dark out. This meant that Little Owl would have to go to bed. But right before bed, Little Owl said, Best adventure ever! The Homeless Puppy Written and illustrated by Andalyn Reimer. There once was a girl named Grace. She really, really wanted a puppy. Her 10th birthday was in June. It was April. She was walking home from school one day and was thinking about how much she wanted a puppy. That night, Grace had a dream. There was a homeless puppy in a box. At that, she immediately woke up. That day at school, Grace kept thinking about her dream. Grace was walking home from school and she saw a box in the alley. She heard tiny little whimpers from the box, so she went to see what was inside. Inside, she saw a little tiny puppy. He was the cutest puppy ever. Grace was so excited but she was also sad. Who would ever put a puppy in a box? She went home and got milk, blankets, and a heating light to keep it warm. Then Grace walked to the alley and fed the puppy. She warmed the puppy up and put the blankets down in the box. The next day after school, she wanted to check on the puppy. Grace found that he was still in the alley, all alone. She decided to take him home. Her parents didn't know that the puppy was in the house. Before Grace went to bed, she decided to name the puppy Storm. The dog was a golden retriever. The next day, Grace took Storm on a walk. He loved it. That evening at the supper table, she decided she had to tell her parents about Storm. Grace sheepishly said, Mom, Dad, I have been secretly hiding a puppy in the house. Her mom and dad had their mouths open for a while to realize what had just happened. They knew Grace had wanted a puppy for a long time, so they weren't surprised. They knew that she was responsible and could care for a puppy, so they let her keep Storm. She was so excited. Now she had the best birthday present ever. The two became inseparable best friends. Storm never had to be worried about being homeless again. That brings the 2024 Smoky Hills PBS Young Writers and Illustrators contest to a close. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next year. Messer is a technology and gases applications leader with the knowledge to provide solutions that meet customer needs across multiple industries. We value safety, people excellence, and dependable performance to benefit the industries essential to daily life. Messer, gases for life. Learn more at www.messer-us.com.